come back to Sim Right Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sew this simple kimono top with front slit and side slit as well. So this top is actually very beautiful. You can use it to wear your trousers, you can use it to wear your shorts, you can use it to wear your skirt. In fact, I'll be sharing with you the tips and tricks to sewing this very simple top okay so this top is actually very beautiful as you can see right there so i encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial if you really want to learn how i made this beautiful top okay and thank you very much for joining simbrai fashion academy youtube channel every day and stay till the end of this tutorial to learn more things to so start off this tutorial so for this particular tutorial i'm using my ankara print so the Ankara print I have here is exactly two yards. So these two yards of Ankara I have here, I'm going to place it on fold. So everything I have from here to here is two yards. Okay, so when I place it on fold, I will have it at one yard each. I'll have it at a yard each, as you can see. So this one yard, I'll also go ahead and fold it again. So if you are folding it this time, please ensure you leave about half an inch for the center front. So the half an inch is for the center front joining. We are going to have a joining at the center front and that joining is going to be at half an inch. So this is it. This is the folded part, which is the center back. And this is the open part, which will serve as the center front. So we are going to mark out our vertical measurement. And to do that, I'm going to create a border line. All right. So right now I'll be using this edge after folding it on fold and to fold i will use this edge to serve as the shoulder line so this particular shoulder line you are seeing right there i'm going to take all my measurements from here so the measurement we are going to take is we are going to take the measurement of my waistline or i will say let me take the measurement of my kimono uh, opening so the opening of this dress i will have it at 11 inches so you can see where i placed i'm using here as my borderline because i'm going to stitch here so i'm going to mark it out at 11 inches then i'm going to take the measurement of my waistline at 17 inches i'll make it 17 and a half and the length of this dress i'll take it at my hip line okay so my hip line is 29 so whatever your hip is just go ahead and mark it out there so so after marking out like i said this is the center back and this is the center front i'll go ahead and place my tape at the center front from the center front line i'm going to mark out my neckline so the neckline i'm working with right here i'm going to work with four and a half by width is somehow a kenu neckline and the depth I'm going to work with is going to be three and a half. Okay. So let me work with four. So it's not too wide. Four by three and a half. That's what I'm using. Four by three and a half. So I'm going to connect the four by three and a half. I'll just connect it this way. You can also use any neckline of your choice. So that is the front neckline I just marked right here. Four. Okay, I still have four and a half. Anyway, let me work with four and a half. But you can work with four if you don't want it to open. So the neckline depth for the back is three inches. And I'll connect it to the four and a half inches. So just choose neckline of your choice anyway. So I'm working with four and a half. 
by by three inches for the back and three and a half for the front and four and a half for the width i believe you understand that okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to measure the width of the neckline of the sleeve so you just place your tape and take your measurement so the measurement of my my shoulder divide by two is seven and a half then from there i'll add the sleeve the sleeve is actually on the bicep line so i'll use six inches or seven inches okay so i'll go ahead and use seven inches so from that seven inches line i marked i'll just go straight this way can you see that so in other words, everything I took from the center front here to the sleeve line is 14 and a half inches. So you can make it as long as you wish. Then I've marked out and I connected it to where I want my kimono opening to be. So I'll come over to the waistline. For my waistline, I'm going to place my tape on the center front on the waistline. I'm going to take the measurement of my hip circumference divided by 4. So my hip circumference divided by 4 is 12. I'm going to add 2.5 inches or 3 inches. Let me add 3 inches. So just add 3 inches to your hip circumference divided by 4. So my hip circumference divided by 4 is 12. I added 3 inches. I have 15. I'll come over to the length and also measure the same 15. So once I've done that, simply go ahead and connect it with a straight line like this. Okay. So I'm connecting it with a straight line. So if you look at what we have, it's almost getting longer than what we have on the sleeve. So when you have, um, uh, have it this way, simply do this. From where you want the sleeve to be. So I will just mark the sleeve at 15 inches. Let me have the sleeve at 15 inches. So if you have it this way. It also depends on measurement. If you are on the fat size. You likely have your hip circumference. Going to match up with your sleeve. So when you have it this way. Just take it up completely. And go in by one and a half from there. So one and a half or one inch from there. So if you have done that, the next you do is to place your pattern ruler on that part and create the kimono sleeve. So I'll just use a small part of it of my pattern ruler and create the kimono sleeve. So you can just go ahead and do this. From that point, I've created the kimono sleeve. I'll just go and do, take it a little bit straight. I believe you understand. I took it a little bit straight. So I don't go it up on the space I have. So, but if you are on a small size, you won't have issues with this. Okay. The sleeve area um, is short. That is why we are having issues like this. So if you're on the small size, just simply take your measurement accordingly and you also have uh, an accurate result at the end of the day so i'm leaving my sleeve on slanted uh, the, this part on slanted but if you want to slant it just go ahead and come down from here by one inch or one and a half inch so if you do that and connect this is what you are going to have that is if you want to add make it slanted so if you do that then the we'll have our total sleeve opening here at nine and a half but i don't like to when i slant it i don't like to have it at nine and a half i like to come down okay at least ten and a half is okay so i'm um, taking the slanted parts for some of us who would like the slant, okay, it's also okay. Straight is also okay. So I'll go ahead and curve it in again to match up with what I have here. So it's actually a simple kimono uh, top.
So I'll just go ahead and cut right now. I'm cutting exactly on the line like this. I first cut out the back neckline. So once I've cut out the back neckline, note that the folded part is the back. So definitely I could have placed this one on top of this, but it's okay. So what I'm going to do now is simply to go this way, mark out that line and reconnect the back, the front neckline. Okay, so the front neckline, I want it a little bit lower. So since I want it a little bit lower, I'll go ahead and do what? And cut off. Can you see? So the back is higher. So trim off this to exactly 0 0.5. So that is what I'm going to do. Trim it off to exactly 0 0.5. So that is what I've done now. And then cut at exactly your length. Then we'll now come over here and cut at the kimono sleeve area and you see that then i'll go ahead and cut it off i added 0 0.5 in just for hemming so this is what you expected to have for this particular dress so for the slit that we have on the front i'll come over to the neckline and measure my waist so this is my waist so it's going to be exactly on the waist for the front so i'll make a notch at that waist once i stitch i got to uh, my stitching to this point i'll stop and then i'll leave my slit open then i'll also come over to the side the both sides i'll create a notch on the waist again the back slit will stop at that point so now i'm going to sew this dress i'm going to open it up this is my back and this is my front so the front you can see the front i'm going to join the front right now so by the time i join at 0 0.5 of course you could have added one inch because i forgot we are going to hem this part so please add one inch in front instead of 0 0.5 but for me i've already made the mistake so i'll just go ahead and stitch close to this point at half an inch i'll manage the half an inch i have maybe with my hemming gum right now then after that i'm going to create my facing so right here i've joined my center front so i'll go ahead and open it up give it a good press so for this part i'll go ahead and fold it in okay so i'll just manage the half an inch i use or else i could have suggested you use one inch so that you have a good you know fold so i'll just go ahead and fold in and stitch you can see the way i'm folding it in that is what i'm going to do on my machine i'm going to stitch it to the end of the dress so the next thing is to create the facing. So for the facing, I'll come in with my fabric like this. I place it on fold like this. So the folded part, I'm going to place it right here. You can see I'm placing it exactly on the stitching line. You can see me folding the seam allowance. So just make sure, so you don't have um, an excess, just place it on the stitching line. So I'll arrange it very appropriately. Then I'll advise you secure with your pins. So but for me, I'll just hold it down with my hands right away to create the facing so i'll go this way that is the front facing that is what i'm creating right here so after that i'm going to measure the width of my facing 
So the width of my facing right here, I want to make it at 3 inches. So this is the 3 inches. I will lift up the fabric and I'll just go that 3 inches round. That is how I create my facing. So after, I'll make a notch at the center front. So after I'm done ironing, opening up here, the center front, I'll place the right side of my facing to the right side of the dress. So this is the right side. So I'm going to align it and sew to the end and top stitch. That is what I'll do at the machine now. And I'll repeat the same process for the back as well. All right, so I'm done sewing the neckline. So you can see me creating my notches because it's a round neckline. So I will do that for the front as well. So I'm going to flip all my seams to the uh, facing right now. And I'm going to top stitch right very, very close. I'll do that for both of them. Let me do that. So I'm done top stitching, as you can see. So I'll just go ahead and give it a good press. So the next thing I'll do after ironing it down you can see the neckline so if you feel the width is so wide for you you know we use four and a half inches you can do four inches okay so but it should be from four inches for the width so you'll be able to you know uh, put in your head so i'll bring the front dress i'm going to match it again right side to right side so this is the facing so what I'm trying to do now is to sew my seam line. So I'm going to sew my seam line. I love to sew it this way. I'll match up the both of them, pick up one of the facings, turn it around and stitch to the end of the sleeve. I'll do, the, do that for the other side as well. So I'm done sewing the neckline so you can see how the neckline is sitting very nicely so the next thing I'm going to do before I close up this part I want to show you that I stop my stitching for the center slit at my half length where I notched so I will go over now and finish the hemline of the sleeve so that's the first thing you do, finish up the hemline of the sleeve. So I'll just go ahead to my machine and run my stitches straight this way. Okay, I'll do that to the end. Then I'll join them together and close up the sides. Let me do that. Alright, so I'm done sewing the sides of the dress as you can see right here. So this is the sleeve area where i i hemmed and i started stitching at half an inch or one inch as you desire so i will just make little notch on this corner but please be careful while you do this just little notch to enable this side of the sleeve to turn effectively so the next i did was to turn in the opening on the side from the half length part i notched of course i'm going to give it a good press to make this part relax then at the half length i also have my slits for the front can you see that so i have my slit again at the back so the next i'll do is to finish up or hem the this part okay i'm going to turn it over him with my hemming gum or with my stitches so this is how we come to the end of this tutorial and i believe this class was helpful to you so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well so thank you very much for coming and see you in the next class bye